Hi YouTube, it's your girl Ash, and today I am back with another video. Today's video is a book haul. I have 12 books to show you, and I don't want this video to be super long, so let's get right into it. Up first is Just Listen by Sarah Desson. This book follows Annabelle, who everyone thinks has the perfect life because she's a model and that's what she portrays in TV commercials, but her life is far from it. She just um, ended her friendship bitterly with her best friend. Her sister's eating disorder is tearing her family apart. And then one day she meets Owen, and Owen teaches her to listen to herself and to find courage to speak up. But will she be able to tell anybody what happened when her and Sophie stopped being friends? I got Sarah Destin because I read a little bit of Say Anything, loved it. These have been, all of a sudden, Sarah Destin has been popping up in my two main thrift stores like crazy and I was finally like it's time to read some Sarah Destin so I picked up this one up next is Roses by Layla Meacham forgive me if that's wrong this is a generational novel about two founding families in how but but Kerr, excuse me, Texas, and how their histories intertwined over three intriguing generations. I got this book because I have been fascinated for like six months with reading Gone with the Wind, and when I picked up this book in the thrift store, the back said that everybody was calling it the new Gone with the Wind, so I decided that I would read this one, and if it's not good and chances are I'm not going to read Gone with the Wind. It is very thick if you can see so I don't know when I'll get to it. It's over I think over 600 pages. Up next is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. This is book one in a series. It used to be a trilogy but I've heard that Rick Yancey signed a deal to do two more books in this series. Um, it says, after the first wave, only darkness remains. After the second, only the lucky escape. And after the third, only the unlucky survive. After the fourth wave, only one rule applies. Trust no one. Now is the dawn of the fifth wave. And this book gets pretty mixed reviews from what I can see. There is a camp of people who love this book, will love this series, say it's amazing, or they hate this series. And so I just wanted to see how I feel about it. And it was super cheap, so I picked it up. Up next is a book that I found out about two days ago while looking up old booktube videos. And that is The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Neffernager. Forgive me, I'm pretty sure I butchered that. This is about a couple, Claire and Henry, and them having to deal with the fact that uncontrollably Henry can time travel. Like one moment he can be, you know, back to, he can be in the present and then he can go back to when he was like, 20 and just starting this relationship of it so I'm pretty excited I love the premise there's a movie so of course I'm going to read it and then watch the movie up next is Steel Alice by Lisa Genova forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong I picked this up because of the movie that came out last year I wanted to watch it but then I decided that I would rather read the book first this is about a woman who is a cognitive psychology professor at Harvard and a world-renowned expert in linguistics linguistics with a successful husband and three grown children and then one day she starts forgetting things like she's walking around her um where her house is and she forgets her way home she forgets what she's doing in the middle of paperwork and she finds out that she has early on stage 
stage Alzheimer's. Yes, and the author of this book is a she has a PhD in neuroscience from Harvard University and she works as a columnist online for the National Alzheimer's Association. So this should be an accurate portrayal. Up next is Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. I'm pretty sure I don't have to tell you what this is about. Everybody knows about it. I got it because I wanted to see the movie. At first, I didn't want to see the movie. I didn't really care about the series. And then I found out Dom Sherwood is in the movie. And so, you know me. I have to pick up the book first before the movie. Up next is a book I got that I was very excited with at the beginning. But then after I bought it, I went on Goodreads read the synopsis, and my excitement plummeted, but it was super cheap. I'm going to read it. If I don't like it, it will go right back to the thrift store. It's, you know, no biggie. And that is Such a Pretty Face by Kathy Lamb. This is about a, a woman who at one time used to be big. She loses all this weight. She thinks that her life's going to be perfect. But it's not. I think it's going to have some negative representations of what it means to be plus size, fat, overweight. And I'm just not here for that. I'm somebody who is all about body positive, positivity. Excuse me. Love you. Don't let anybody tell you that you are not the stuff. If you think you are bad, don't let anybody tell you not bad. So I was kind of disappointed after finding out what it was about. But... Hopefully, it doesn't have those negative stereotypes. Next up is Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Neen. And this is about a family and the daughter, Lydia, is like their it child. They dote on her to give her everything. And then one day, she winds up dead and the whole family falls apart, and there's suspicions about who did it, and the only one who truly knows what happens is Hannah, who is the youngest child, and it has the two best first lines I've ever read in the book. They immediately grab your attention, and they are, Lydia is dead, but they don't know this yet. It immediately makes you want to read more. You want to know what happened, who did it, and it's pretty short, so I should be able to have that done in two days. Next is In a Dark, Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. I got this because when I saw it, I noticed that I realized that she was the author of um, The Woman in Cabin 10, and I think this is her first book or her first thriller I'm not sure it follows Lenora who is a reclusive writer one day she's invited to a birthday party she doesn't know why because the friendship ended terribly and then 48 hours later she wakes up in a hospital bed with the knowledge that someone's dead but she doesn't know what happened or why she's in the hospital so I'm super excited but I probably won't get to this until October because for the month of October, I'm going to be focusing more, I think, focusing more on reading psychological thrillers. I already have four in my arsenal ready to go. So I'm probably going to hold that back. Next up is A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid, Khalid Husseini. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. He's the author of The Kite Runner. This book talks about the volatile events of Afghanistan's last 30 years from the Soviet invasion to the reign of the Taliban to post-Taliban rebuilding that puts the violence, fear, hope, and faith of this country in intimate human terms. It's a tale of two generations of characters brought jarringly together by the tragic sweep of war where personal lives, the struggle to survive, raise a family, Find happiness are intricately from the history playing out around them. So, I want to read this because 
everybody praises the kite runner and says it's a classic. And so when I saw this, I want to get a feel for his writing. Next is The Gold Finch by Donna Tart. This book is about Theo Decker, who at 13 miraculously survives an accident that kills his mom. The only thing he has to remember his mom by, I think, is the goldfinch painting that he stole in the accident. And I wanted to read this because it talks about the underbelly of the art dealing business. And it is huge. And right now, I have a thing of buying huge books. I need to have a thing of reading them. But that's another topic for another video. And I think this is the last book. This should be. The last book is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I found out about Pierce Brown. I think the way a lot of people found out about Pierce Brown. And that was Natasha at Tashopolis. Um, video about the hottest um, new YA author where she was reading the BuzzFeed article and showing like pictures from Pierce's Instagram and that's when I researched him and found out that he had a book coming out called Real Rising and you know that I don't buy hardcovers so I had to wait a year for it to be in paperback and then paperback was still kind of expensive so long story short, short, excuse me, I found this in the thrift store, 50 cent, had to pick it up. It says his wife taken, his people enslaved, driven by longing for justice and the memory of lost love. Darrell would stop at nothing to bring down his enemies, even if he must become one of them to do so. For the first time, Red will rise. And this is book one in the Red Rising trilogy. So that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed my super long book haul. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please follow me on all of my social medias, which will be linked in the description down below. If you feel inclined to do so, please subscribe. And if you have subscribed, please hit that bell button so you'll be notified when your girl puts up new content and please share this video it would be graciously appreciated and as always until we meet again